be a little bit closer that they just announced recently. Tony Ferguson, Charles Oliveira. Uh, let's start first just with, was this the right fight to make for Tony Ferguson? He wanted to fight in December. Michael Chandler says he wasn't ready to go. Understandable, had a camp for the backup spot at UFC 254. What's your assessment of this fight? Was this the right fight to make? I get it. I don't have a big problem with it. I, I thought they were going to go in the direction of Chandler, uh, Chandler Ferguson, so it caught me by surprise. I'm happy to see something good happen to Oliveira, though. I mean, that guy's a killer. He's got an amazing record. He's been on an amazing run, but he's never had that dance partner that could bring him some attention. If he's as good as he says he is, if he's as good as his record shows that he apparently is, this will be the one to springboard him. And good for Chandler. I mean, or, you know, good for Ferguson for stepping in and, and taking it. We're seeing all these top guys that are, are, are ducking and dodging fights or they need big carrots dangled in front of them. You know, good for Ferguson for saying, I want to compete by the end of the year. Okay, great. Here's who you're offering me. I'll do it. I respect guys like that. You know, we got so many fake tough guys in this sport right now, and we have for a, a extended period of time. Yeah. I don't know how the fans let it go. I don't know how the media lets it go. I don't know how the promotion deals with some of these crybabies. So, so good for Tony and good for Oliveira for getting the chance and taking it. Was this a missed opportunity for Chandler? I talked about how he had to, you know, go through a camp already. It's understandable, but at the same time, it doesn't get much bigger than Tony Ferguson in the lightweight division is outside it, of Connor. Is, is it understandable in all fairness? I like Chandler. Yeah. You like Chandler. I've been yeah. personal friends with him for a decade. I, I don't understand it in the least. You, you okay. haven't fought anybody in a long time. You signed a contract. You went through training camp, but you don't want to fight a top guy on a top pay-per-view of the year. That's understandable. I'm having a hard time understanding that. I don't get that one. It seems like a missed opportunity. I've been the first to speak up for Michael Chandler. I, I will not be the first next time. Okay. If this was his shot and he did not want it because of what? Because he went through a training camp. What? What? Guys are missing fights because they're hurt or they're sick or they have a loved one in the hospital. He's missing a fight because he went through a full training camp? I don't under. I'm not with you on that one. I don't understand. I think it's ridiculous. Okay. No, I like the honesty on that one. Where, where does this leave Chandler? Who I do you like think to he hear fights? your standpoint. Wait a minute. You. you okay. No. No. Fair enough. You're right. I skipped over it. Okay. My you standpoint. Under, what What part of that are you understanding about? What I'm. Part, I, I'm. What I'm part a little bit. Listen. Getting a new beautiful contract, <laughs> being launched into a top spot, and not wanting to go do the heavy lifting. What part of that did you understand? I have a bit of empathy for Chandler in the sense that he he had a training camp and he was on Fight Island. If this was in Vegas, maybe a different story. But I do see your side as well where it's like, you know what? You got to take the fights you can get. I guess from my perspective, it's like, I don't know what it's like to go through a full camp. So I don't fully understand as much as say you do or someone else does. If you're telling me, hey, you should reset it and go back in. I'll take your word for it, Chell. I'm not going to argue with that. But uh, in general, I just sort of looked at this as it's a little bit understandable. But on the on the marketing side, absolutely. Of course, you're not going to get much bigger than first. Ferguson, because who's he going to fight now? Dan Hooker, uh, maybe Ally Quinta. I, I don't know who else is in that top five that doesn't have a dance partner right now. Maybe Paul Felder. Um, you're not going to get a bigger fight than Tony. Tony is still a big draw. People sure. love this guy. And if you even suggest that Tony's going to lose this fight, I've seen it in the YouTube comments. People go nuts. This guy is a huge fan base. And that's a that's a missed opportunity. But it's Charles Oliveira's gain as a result. Sure. No, I agree with you because I think it does It does have the question, well, then what, what does uh, Chandler do, right? If, if we know that Poirier and Connor are tied up and we're led to believe that Khabib is not coming back, and I don't think we thought that Chandler was going to draw right into Khabib anyway, I don't know what other pieces are on the board. Does he stick around and wait for a Gaethje? Or does it, I, I'm open to all of those ideas, but it, it does put you in a little bit tougher spot, at least in my estimation. Or does he go back and he's a backup fighter? You know, don't forget... He was a backup fighter for the Gaethje, uh, Gaethje Khabib fight, and now we've got Poirier Connor, which is a massive fight. It would seem that you'd want a backup fighter for that. Do you bring him back in for that? I, I don't know. I don't know. I wouldn't have a problem with it, but then are we going to be stuck with the same excuse if that doesn't come about of which I had a training camp? You say you don't understand a training camp. Let me break it down for you. Very, <laughs> a guy sex X some amount of time aside, and he works hard during those days. Yeah. Who gives a – so what? Yeah. Now, all of your viewers that are worth their salt get up every day and work hard. So a guy, a guy set eight weeks aside and he worked extra hard. Eh, I don't know, man. I, I was disappointed. I'm still disappointed. And I'm not with you. I don't understand. Well, I'll tell you something I disagree with you. I don't think Chandler is the backup to Poirier and McGregor because if Poirier is out, there's no way McGregor takes that fight, especially without a title on the line. I just don't see him. I know Connors and I'll fight anyone anytime, but he's also a businessman. And a Michael Chandler is not as big of a deal as a Poirier, in my opinion, but especially a guy he already has a win over. So I think if Chandler does fight again, it's going to be against a fresh opponent. I don't think they'll give him another backup opportunity, but we'll see what happens, Shell. Maybe when it, we do see what happens, I'll uh, shoot you a text and we can 
can argue hey, about it on that. Hey, you're bringing all sorts of news on me. You just said Connor was a businessman. I, I would love, <laughs> please put me in contact with his secretary. Tell me where his office is so I can pull up. I, let me know who his investors were and what capital he ever raised. I, that's news to me that Connor's doing business. I didn't know that either. From a business you're perspective, me a lot yeah. today. <laughs> exactly. We exactly. understand why we understand. We're understandable why a fighter won't fight, and we understand a guy that's never signed the front of a paycheck is doing business. You're teaching me something. I got to tell you. Generally, generally, when you're a businessman, okay, you sign the front of a paycheck. Connor signs the back of paycheck. But if you're telling me he's a businessman, my mind is now blown, James. Okay. I got to tell you. From from a business perspective, that, that's that's what I meant. He's he's thinking business wise. Maybe he's not running the. He's got people around him. He's got a crew of people. I mean, obviously, he's not pouring the proper whiskey or whatever. Right? That's someone else doing it. But Fair enough. Just, you do you do know that the night that Hulk Hogan slammed Andre the Giant, Andre was cooperating, right? You're aware of that. Yes, absolutely. Okay, all right. I'm just making sure that we're right. I didn't know if we're doing a work here. If we're, you know, I've known you a long time, but I. Yeah. I didn't know Connor was in business, and I damn sure didn't know that a fighter could skip fights and we let him slide for it.